Iran's judiciary has executed two men, Yusef Merad and Sadrola Fazelazer, for allegedly burning the Quran and insulting the Prophet of Islam. The Mizan news agency reported that the men had operated multiple social media accounts dedicated to promoting atheism and blasphemy. Despite Merad's lawyer arguing that he was innocent and his sentence unjust, the two men were hanged at Arat prison in central Iran on Monday morning. Before we continue with the video, we humbly implore you to subscribe to Slant News TV to demonstrate your support and embolden us to produce more valuable content. We deeply appreciate your encouragement and eagerly return to the primary topic at hand. Human rights groups condemned the executions, with one group calling them a cruel act by a medieval regime. The executions are seen as part of a wider crackdown on dissent and opposition in Iran, which has seen a surge in executions this year. Iranian courts are accused of failing to provide fair trials, with false confessions obtained under torture used as evidence. According to Iran's human rights activists news agency, Frana, the men were arrested in 2020 and accused of running a telegram channel called Criticism of Superstition and Religion. They were held in solitary confinement for the first two months and denied access to a lawyer, Frana said. In 2021, the Arik criminal court convicted Merad and Fazelazer on blasphemy charges and sentenced them to death. They were also given six-year prison sentences for running groups to act against national security. The Supreme Court rejected their appeals against the verdicts and upheld their death sentences later that year, Mizan said, adding that both men had clearly confessed to their crimes. Last week, a Swedish-Iranian dual national accused of being behind a deadly attack on a military parade in 2018 was also hanged, prompting condemnation from the European Union. Iran ranks second to China in the number of executions carried out annually having put to death more than 200 people since the start of this year, according to a tally by Iran Human Rights. The group has said that the number of executions rose by 75% to 582 last year, as authorities sought to spread fear among those taking part in the nationwide protests sparked by the death in custody of Massa Umani in September. The executions of Yusef and Sadrola for insulting the Prophet are not only a violation of human rights but also an attack on freedom of expression, said Mahmoud Amiramorgadam, director of the Norway-based group Iran Human Rights. He added that the lack of a strong reaction by the international community sends a message of acceptance to the Iranian government and their ideological allies worldwide. 